podcast and in this particular episode we're going to use um, the Bible study aid from beyond today entitled the rapture versus the Bible Christians the world over are looking forward to a time when, interrupting their ordinary lives, they will be suddenly raptured into heaven with Jesus Christ. Now this sudden event won't just take them away from their daily lives, it will also take them away from the coming of the Great Tribulation and massive trouble and destruction for earth. But everyone left behind will go through this trauma, wondering what happened to the others who were raptured. Now, it's a popular ideal, one that's been turned into movies and best-selling books, picturing suddenly driverless cars crashing into one another and pilotless airplanes falling from the sky. The images are very striking and the lesson very strong. Be a good Christian and you will be raptured and saved from destruction. But is it true? Now the ideal of a rapture of believers up into heaven before the prophesied tribulation of the last days is widely taught and believed in Christianity today. Popular books and movies spin themes around this doctrine that essentially teaches Christ will come back twice, first coming into the atmosphere to snatch believers away to heaven, and later returning them to confront God's enemies at Armageddon and render final judgment. Regrettably, we live in a time when most are content to get their knowledge of religion secondhand, preferably through dramatic presentations including stage, screen, movies, and even novels. But you can't afford to neglect your responsibility to prove the truth. Those willing to take a careful look at the Bible will see that the popular rapture theory doesn't actually stand up to the scrutiny up against God's word. Now the rapture teaching was popularized actually in the 70s by Hal Lindsey's writings, which were through the late great planet Earth, one of them, and more recently by Tim LaHaye and Jerry Jenkins in their Left Behind fictional books as well as films. But where did this concept of the rapture originate? Credit for the ideal generally goes to John Darby, which was a 19th century th theologian who labored to correct common false teaching related to the second coming of Christ. Now, Darby correctly believed that Jesus Christ would return to the earth to establish the kingdom of God and literally rule the world for a thousand years. In his zeal for countering error, Darby promoted the ideal that Christ would come to catch away believers prior to the period of end time calamities leading up to his final coming. So this leads us to the question of caught up, yes, but when? A study of the topic needs to begin in 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 and 17. Paul writes in verse 16 that when Jesus returns with the sound of a trumpet, those believers who'd already died will be resurrected. He goes on to say this, Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. The original Greek phrase, shall be caught up, combines the ideals of force and suddenness seen in the irresistible power of God. It's from the Latin translations that we derive the English words rapt, raptor, rapture, and enraptured. To be enraptured 